Joey. Hey friends, welcome to Chris Reacts. If you're new here, I'm Christy, and here's where we watch all the shows and movies that you recommend. Like this movie, actually. This was recommended a bunch in the channel, and it's called The Prince's Bride. When you first recommended it, I swear I thought you meant that movie with Anne Hathaway in which she finds out she's a princess and she has to learn how to princess or something like that. But that is not this movie. That is called a princess diary or diaries i don't know if she kept more than one journal this one is from 1987 and it's with actors i don't know with by a director i don't know about and i have no idea what i'm walking into i don't know if this is a drama a romance or a comedy or a draw romedy <laughs> But here I am, and I'm excited actually because I am going in blindly. <coughs> Before we jump in, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And if you're looking for the full length reaction, check out my Patreon. And speaking of Patreon, a huge thanks to the channel sponsors, Bradley Bradley and John Colson, dear friends of mine. And a huge shout out to the members of the Joey and Phoebe Club. Chris Therian, Tony Aragon, and Treetop Jones. You guys are the best, and thank you for your support. I got my hydration station, my headphones, and the will to watch, so let's do it. Ah, this is so 80s. Oh, that kid is from that show. What would you do if I sang? What's the name of that show? Your grandfather's here. Mom, can't you tell me I'm sick? Oh. Pinch my cheek. I hate that. Maybe he won't. Hey. <laughs> huh? Oh, but he did. <laughs> I brought you a special present. A book? It was the book my father used to read to me when I was sick, and I used to read it to your father. And today, I'm going to read it to you. That's sweet. The Wonder Years, right? I'll try and stay awake. Oh, well, <laughs> thank you very much. It's very nice. <laughs> the Prince's Bride. Ah, oh, that's the name of the book. Buttercup was raised on a small farm in the country of Florin. Our favorite pastimes were riding a horse and tormenting the farm boy that worked there. Oh. Nothing gave Buttercup as much pleasure as ordering Wesley around. Why? Farm boy. <gasps> polish my horse's saddle. Farm boy. Fill these with water. Please. As you wish. Very handsome and very beautiful characters so far. I was amazed to discover that when he was saying as you wish, what he meant was, I love you. <gasps> and even more amazing was the day she realized she truly loved him back. Wow. Farm boy. Farm boy? Fetch me that picture. <laughs> She's nothing to ask him to do anymore. As you wish. Hmm. a kissing book a kissing book <laughs> wesley had no money for marriage so he packed his few belongings and left the farm to seek his fortune across the sea oh it was a very emotional time for buttercup i won't always come for you oh but how can you be sure this is true love okay very sweet i like this it's a romance, by the way. Wesley didn't reach his destination. His ship was attacked by the dread pirate Roberts. <gasps> when Buttercup got the news that Wesley was murdered, she went into her room and shut the door. And for days, she neither slept nor ate. Eek. Five years later, the main square of Florence City was filled as never before to hear the announcement of the great Prince Humperdinck's bride-to-be. I like this is very fairy tale-y. I shall marry a lady who was once a commoner like yourselves. Oh. Would you like to meet her? Yeah, for sure. Princess Buttercup. I 
thought she'd never love again. Although the law of the land gave Humperdinck the right to choose his bride, hmm. she did not love him. I truly love how fairy y this is. A word, my lady. We are but poor lost circus performers. There is nothing nearby, not for miles. Then there will be no one to hear you scream. <gasps> That was easy. You never say anything about killing anyone. I've hired you to help me start a war. <laughs> it's a prestigious line of work with a long and glorious tradition. Want me to send you back to where you were? Unemployed in Greenland? He's rude. Get him off the ship. We don't need him. And Vicini, he can fuss. Sure, fuss. Thing you like to scream at us. Probably he means no harm. He's very, very short on charm. I love this. They're freestyling there. No more rhymes now, I mean it. Anybody want a peanut? <laughs> I love that giant. He's a gentle giant for sure. Are you sure nobody's follow us? That would be inconceivable. Inconceivable. I just happened to look behind us and something is there. <gasps> He's so chill. It's like, well, something's gonna get us. Some local fishermen out for a pleasure cruise at night through eel infested waters. Oh, <gasps> she took off. <laughs> Those are the shrieking eels. They always grow louder when they're about to feed on human flesh. Oh, oh my God. I know eels can get big, but I don't know if they shriek. She doesn't get eaten by the eels at this time. Oh. I'm explaining to you because you look nervous. I am nervous. Thank you. Well, maybe I was a little bit concerned, but that's not the same thing. What's up with that actor? I wonder where he's at now. Oh. Put her nice. down. Just put her down. What's his name again? Fezzer? Fezzy? The Cliffs of Insanity! Those are Hurry huge up. cliffs. I love how these sets look. They look like a ride from Disney World or one of those amusement parks. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Fesic is strong. <laughs> I can't believe how he's just climbing that. He's climbing the rope. And he's getting on us. Well, I'm carrying three people. And he got on himself. I agree. I'm just going to have to find myself a new giant, that's all. Don't say that, Vincini. Please. Don't say that. Please. Wow, this guy's coming up fast. Imagine having that arm strength. Yeah. Bye. Got very good arms. That's what I said. Inconceivable! You keep using the word. <laughs> right. That's what you think it means. <laughs> you keep using that word. To do him left handed. If I use my right, over too quickly. Oh, have it your way. <laughs> I love the dialogue in this movie. You be careful. People in masks cannot be trusted. Like that line. <laughs> Well, going. Look, I don't mean to be rude, but this is not as easy as it looks. So I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't distract me. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> I promise I will not kill you until you reach the top. Oh. That's very comforting. I swear on the soul of my father, Domingo Montoya. Oh. You will reach the top alive. Throw me the rope. <laughs> okay. 
This is so funny. He's going to help him so he can kill him. I thought he was going to push him off. We'll wait until you're ready. Again, thank you. <laughs> Can we find out who he is? Like, what, is he, what does he want? You don't by any chance happen to have six fingers on your right hand? Oh. My father was slaughtered by a six-fingered man. <gasps> was a great sword maker, my father. Mm. When the six-fingered man appeared and requested a special sword, my father took the job. It's beautiful. Can I want one? The six-fingered man slash him through the heart. I love my father. Hmm. I dedicate my life to the study of fencing. So the next time we meet, I will not fail. Are you bonding with sorrow? Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Wow. You've been more than fair. You seem a decent fellow. Truly. I hate to kill you. You seem a decent fellow. I hate to die. Why are you not friends? Oh. This is cool. You are wonderful. Thank you. I've worked hard to become so. You're amazing. I ought to be after 20 years. <laughs> I'm not left handed either. Oh. Wow. Get used to disappointment. Okay. He does have the lips of farm boy. Kill me quickly. I know. Since I can't have you following me either. <gasps> what? I thought you were gonna kill kill him. Kill him. Hold you, in the highest respect. you guys are were like besties at this point. This is really friendly duel. In a few minutes, the man in black will come running around the bend. The minute his head is in view, hit it with the <laughs> rock! <laughs> I'm sure, are you sure it's his way? <gasps> oh, that totally startled me. So what happens now? We face each other as God intended. Sportsman life. Okay. It's so my fault being the biggest and the strongest. I don't even exercise. Nice. These are the friendliest killers <laughs> I've met. <laughs> I just want you to feel you're doing well. I hate for people to die on the hand. I love him. He's a really nice giant. I haven't fought just one person for so long. In specializing in groups, <laughs> battling gangs for local charities, that kind of thing. <laughs> I have to be one. I bet one. Oh, you got him? Nice. Easy peasy. But in the meantime, rest well and dream of large women. <laughs> Dialogue the lines. I can't compete with you physically, <laughs> and you're no match for my brain. Oh. In that case, I challenge you to a battle of wits. For the princess? A battle of wits? Oh my god, you're really close to him right now. You can just punch him in the face and take the princess. Iocane powder. It is odorless, tasteless, dissolves instantly in liquid, and is among the more deadly poisons known to man. Where is the poison? A clever man would put the poison into his own goblet because he would know that only a great fool would reach for what he was given. You must have known I was not a great fool. You would have counted on it, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. Iocane comes from Australia, as everyone knows. And Australia is entirely peopled with criminals. And criminals are used to having people not trust them, as you are not trusted by me, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. And you must have suspected I would have known the power's origin, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You've beaten my time, which means you're such a strong, so you put it up with your own goblet to respect the same I know, I'm lost. So you would have put the poison as far from yourself as possible, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. Okay, so which is it? 
Let's drink. Me from my glass and you from yours. Okay. So I would probably just like do this and not actually drink like and let him drink. You fell victim to one of the classic blunders. The most famous is never get involved in a land war in Asia. <laughs> Never go in against a Sicilian when death is on the line. <laughs> Did he not drink? Is that it? Is that how he won? Who are you? I am no one to be trifled with. Don't trifle with him. They were both poisoned. I spent the last few years building up an immunity oh. to our cocaine powder. It does not matter where you take me. There is no greater hunter than Prince Humperdinck. Humperdinck. I have loved more deeply than a killer like yourself could ever dream. <gasps> that was a warning, Highness. Where I come from, there are penalties when a woman lies. What? Where do you come from? You're the dread pirate Roberts. Admit it. With pride. Oh, interesting. You kill my love. I kill a lot of people. A farm boy. Poor. Poor and perfect. Mm -mm. With eyes like the sea after a storm. He looks so much like farm boy. Is it the same actor? I asked him what was so important for him. True love, he replied. They were really in love. When you found out he was gone, did you get engaged to your prince that same hour, or did you wait a whole week out of respect for the dead? You mocked me once, never do it again! Yeah, you're rude. You can die too for all I care! Oh. Bra! Wow. As you wish. Oh, my sweet Wesley. What have I done? Ow. <laughs> it's, all the, it's all the groaning going down. This is hilarious. Why didn't she just like run? That's really steep. They are headed dead into the fire swamp. Okay. Can you move at all? Move? You're alive. If you want, I can fly. Oh. So wait, what? How is he? Oh no, no, please! I forget that this is a book. They're kissing again. <laughs> Do we have to hear the kissing part? A few more steps, and we'll be safe in the fire swamp. Safe in the fire swamp. I didn't realize it was gonna be like a funny movie. I didn't know what I was walking into, but this is, I love it. I, great movie so far. <laughs> oh, that's why they call it the fire swamp. Things just catch on fire. He's well, so that, chill. That was an adventure. Finally, Roberts decided something. He said, all right, Wesley, never had a valet. But Roberts had grown so rich, he wanted to retire. I am not the Dread Pirate Roberts, he said. I inherited the ship from the previous Dread Pirate Roberts, just as you will inherit it from me. I? Que paso? I. Did she go through the sand? Is it quicksand? Oh! Why is that a giant rat? Oh, nice. Wow. That's probably why nobody survives the fire swamp. Not because of the fire, but this like random quicksand pool. Oh, the giant rat again. Oh gosh. We may as well die here. <laughs> what are the three terrors of the fire swamp? Fire. One, the flame spur. Uh-huh. There's a popping sound preceding each, we can avoid that. Two, the lightning sand. What about the RUSs? Rodents of unusual size? Oh. I don't think they exist. <laughs> <laughs> There's an RUS. Wow, that's the size of a human. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is terrifying, actually. The R-O-U-S is gone. <laughs> She's 
She's like, what was that? Uh, is that so terrible? Yes. That was terrifying, actually. Let's not do that ever again. Oh, wait. That's it? That easily? <laughs> if we surrender, and I return with you, will you promise not to hurt this man? May I live a thousand years and never hunt again. I cannot bear it if you died again. Not when I could save you. Ah, uh, yeah, order. Well spoken, sir. <gasps> six fingers. You have six fingers on your right hand. Someone was looking for you. <gasps> <laughs> they just like knocked him out. Is the this is the pit of despair or Oh, they're caring for you. Where am I? The pit of despair. Mm. Don't even think <laughs> Then I'm here till I die. Till I kill you. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Nobody withstands the machine. Oh, the machine. What could it be? She's been like that ever since the fire swamp. It's my father's failing health that's upsetting her. Sure. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> She loves Mary Humperdinck. She marries Wesley. After all that Wesley did for her, That's she right. didn't marry him. It wouldn't be fair. You're speaking my thoughts, Kit. If you had love in your hands and you gave it up, but they would have killed Wesley if I hadn't done it. Your true love lives, and you marry another. How does she know that? Boo! Boo! Rubbish! Filth! Slime! <sighs> oh. Okay, makes sense. It is a dream. I love Wesley. I always have. I know now I always will. If you tell me I must marry you in ten days, please believe I will be dead by morning. Are you certain he still wants you? You write four copies of a letter. I'll send my four fastest ships, one in each direction. If Wesley wants you, bless you both. If not, please consider me as an alternative to suicide. Oh. It's going to be so much more moving when I strangle her on our wedding night. <gasps> Once Gilder is blamed, the nation will be truly outraged. They'll demand we go to war. You know how much I love watching you work. But I've got my country's 500th anniversary to plan, my wedding to arrange, <laughs> my wife to murder. <laughs> he is swamped. I'm sure you've discovered my deep and abiding interest in pain. At present, I'm writing the definitive work on the subject. What are those suction cups on his nipples? Water. Makes a wheel turn. That does what? What is it doing? This other person looks like a baked potato. I've just sucked one year of your life away. Oh. <laughs> Killers from Gilda are infiltrating the thief's forest and plan to murder my bride on our wedding night. Is everybody out? Almost. There's a Spaniard giving us some trouble. Will you give him some trouble? Is it Inigo Montoya? I am waiting for you, Vicini. Yes. You told me to go back to the beginning. Vicini died. Poisoned. I am waiting for Vicini. Sure you are mini. Vesic. It's you. It's you, Vesic. <laughs> nice. And as Vesic nursed his inebriated friend back to health, he told Inigo of Vizzini's death and the existence of Count Rugen, the six-fingered man. It's with the pints in the castle. But the castle gate is guarded by 30 men. I need the man in black. Yes. What? I knew you guys would get along. After 20 years, at last my father's soul will be at peace. There will be blood tonight! Ah, my dulcet darling. 
Tonight we marry, where every ship in my armada waits to accompany us on our honeymoon. Every ship but your four fastest, you mean? Oh, yeah, because you're supposed to be looking... Every ship but the four you sent. Yes. To look yes, for Wesley. <laughs> Naturally not those four. It doesn't matter. Wesley will come for me anyway. And when I say you are a coward, that is only because you are the slimiest weakling ever to crawl the earth. Oh. More suction. Oh. Wow. That is the sound of ultimate suffering. My heart made that sound when Ruben slaughtered my father. The man in black makes it now. The man in black? Father. I have failed you for 20 years. Somewhere. Somewhere close by is a man who can help us. I cannot find them alone. I need you. It's like a version of the Ouija hair. There you go. Guided. He's dead. <gasps> Just says no fire. He's dead? What did Fezzik mean, he's dead? That's what I mean. Oh, you, you've been very sick and you're taking this story very seriously. I think we ought to stop now. Have you any money? I have a little. I just hope it's enough to buy a miracle. That's oh. all. <laughs> I can't believe he's dead. We need a miracle. It's very important. Look, I'm retired. Those eyebrows. I'll take a look. Bring him in. <laughs> I'm glad we have a miracle man. We're in a terrible rush. Don't rush me, Sonny. <laughs> you rush a miracle man, you get right miracles. Well, it just so happens that your friend here is only mostly dead oh. there's a big difference between mostly dead and all dead hey hello in there hey that's all you're doing liar liar get back witch i'm not a witch i'm your wife <laughs> ever since prince humperdinck fired him his confidence is shattered you promised me that you would never say that name what? If you heal him, he will stop Humperdinck's wedding. Shut I make him better, Humperdinck's office? Mm hmm. That's a miracle pill. The chocolate coating makes it go down easier, but you have to wait 15 minutes for full potency. Bye bye, boys. Have fun storming the castle. Think it'll work? It would take a miracle. Bye bye. How long do we have to wait before if we know the miracle works? Your guess is as good as mine. Aye. I'll take you both together! Who are you? Are we enemies? Let me explain. No, there is too much. Let me sum up. <laughs> if I had a month to plan, maybe I could come up with something like this. You just shook your head. That doesn't make you happy. <laughs> how do I find the Count? Once I do, how do I find you again? Once I find you again, how do I escape? Don't pass that. All great questions. <laughs> the costume design, by the way, is impeccable. I love all these outfits. Love, love these very Marriage. timely. Marriage is what brings us together today. I've heard this before. Marriage. I've heard it before. I'm here, but soon you will not be here. The great Parrot Roberts takes no survivors. Give us the gate key. I have no gay key. Physic. Throw his arms off. Oh, you mean this gay key? <laughs> Kill the dark one and the giant, <laughs> but leave the third for questioning. The dark one. <gasps> yes. He's so good. Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Very 
very nice. <laughs> he just ran the other way. Get him and kill him. I need you! <laughs> I can't leave him alone. He's getting away from me, bastard! Please! Yeah, you need him. Why not? Thank you, Fesic. <gasps> no! Sorry, Father. I know. You've been tracing me your whole life only to fail now. I think that's the worst thing I've ever heard. No, Amiga, por favor. He's coming. He's just partially paralyzed. There's a shortage of perfect breasts in this world. It would be a pity to damage yours. Wesley! Oh, Wesley! Great line, by the way. Oh, I can't believe this guy. Good heavens. Are you still trying to win? What? Hello. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. At the end. Hello. My name is Diego Manta. He's been practicing for 20 years this line. Hello! My name is Diego Mantoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Ah. Hello! My name is Diego Mantoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. No! Offer me money. Nice, 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 nice. Offer nice. me everything I ask for. I want my father back, you son of a bitch. Oh, wow. Can we take care of him really quick? Because I feel like he's bleeding a lot and we need to make sure he lives. Did you say I do? Oh, no. So I'll skip that part. Then you're not married. To the death. No. To the pain. <laughs> what? <laughs> to the pain means the first thing you lose will be your feet below the ankles. Oh. Then your hands at the wrists. The next thing you lose will be your left eye, followed oh. by your right. And then my ears, I understand. Let's get on with it. That is what to the pain means. It means I leave you in anguish. Nice. Wallowing in freakish misery forever. Let's do it. <laughs> Drop your sword. I sit at Prince's table, and there they were, four white horses. Isaac, you did something right. That's really oh, sweet. Wait. I wanted it to go to my head. <laughs> que lindo. I love this group. I have been in the revenge business so long, I don't know what to do with the rest of my life. You make a wonderful trip by Roberts. Oh, you see? Yeah, for sure. Poor horse that has to bring Fesseg. He's huge. And as dawn arose, Wesley and Buttercup knew they were safe. Mm -hmm. A wave of love swept over them. What? What? Now nah, it's kissing again. You don't want to hear that. <laughs> I don't mind so much. Since the invention of the kiss, there have been five kisses that were rated the most passionate, the most pure. This one left them all behind. Wow. Now I think you ought to go to sleep. Thank you for the story. That was amazing. So well. Bye, Grandpa. Grandpa, maybe you could come over and read it again to me tomorrow. Oh. As you wish. Because <gasps> that means I love you. Oh, okay. That was beautiful. Wow. I loved this movie. Okay. Great movie. Great movie. Thanks for recommending it. Good job. What a great movie and what a beautiful surprise this was. I... I had no idea what I was walking into. And when it started, I'm like, oh, okay, it's like a fantasy, fairy tale -y type of, of romantic movie. But it was hilarious. The comedy was so on point. It was witty. The dialogue was 
hilarious, the one-liners, the way the characters like bounced off each other. And even in the when bad things were happening, it was funny. The way they presented it, they presented it to us was funny. I don't know, this was this was so fun. Um, the chemistry between the characters was so good that when Inigo and the farm boy dressed as the pirate with the face in the black outfit, when they were sword fight fighting or fencing, I thought they should be friends because they have great chemistry and look at them, they made such a great team. Fezzik is amazing, Inigo got his revenge and uh, Buttercup is together with Farm Boy. It's just so beautiful, loved it. Thank you for recommending it. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a like. Leave a comment of what's your favorite part of the movie or who's your favorite character actually because that's, I think my favorite character is Fezzik. Check out my Instagram at Chrissy Reacts. Check out my Patreon and we'll do this again. Bye.